Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 5 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. In this video, we will discuss about how we can ingest some sample data into Azure Data Explorer cluster or database. Please watch before video, that means part 3 and part 4 before watching this video. Why? Because in last video, that means in part 4 video, I have explained how to create ADX cluster that means free cluster you no need to have any Azure subscription you only need to have only Microsoft account so with that we can create a free cluster and also we have explained about how to create a database in that cluster so it's like a continuation of that video in the same cluster and database I will be ingesting some data which you can use it for your testing purpose or for your practice for learning or exploring data explorer okay so i hope uh, you also follow along these videos so please watch part 4 video and have it ready your cluster and database so now if you've seen my previous video you know that we have to navigate to data explorer.azure.com website from there we can connect to our cluster and database and then we can start querying let me practically show you this let's go to browser here and in the browser, let me open dataexplorer.azure.com URL here. So let's wait for my browser to load here. So let me hit. So in your browser, as I said, open dataexplorer.azure.com URL. You can see here, it is dataexplorer.azure.com URL. So let me hit enter to open this URL. And inside this data explorer, in last video, we created one dummy cluster for our testing purpose right we will be using the same cluster now so you can see this is the cluster we created adx mahit test and these are two databases which we created so right now i am in query menu under query let me select this demo database so i am under demo database and here let me try to write a query saying dot show tables this will list down all the tables from this database let me hit run command to run this and if you closely observe the results, we don't have any data here, right? It says no rows. Okay. So now, how to ingest some data so that we can start exploring Data Explorer? So that's the main idea. So for that, what we have to do, we have to navigate to this data menu. And from the data menu, we can use insert into blob. And there is one Azure blob, free blob it is. Okay. That means free data provided from Microsoft that we can use it and ingest that data into this database table. So let me show you how. Navigate to data menu and here under data menu you see there is something called ingest from blob. You can see here right. So this ingest from blob will help you to take some blob file and ingest that. So let me hit this ingest button here and here we have to select couple of values. What is the destination? That means where you want to store, of course, it is in our cluster database table and what is the source from where you want to take and schema details and finally ingest that data into from source to destination. So my destination is the same cluster which I yesterday created and the same. Uh, let me take this demo database. I want to ingest into this database and I want to name my table name as Strom events. OK, so why I am naming it if I go back to presentation this url whatever you are seeing on the screen right so this url gives you one csv file you can see it is a csv file and this csv file actually contains some sample data related to weather information from national center of environment and information okay so it's a sample uh, file data or blob which is provided for us which we can ingest into our database of adx and we can start exploring so you can see here this is the url of that blob custo samples dot blob dot core dot windows dot net sample files strom events dot csv file so this is csv file data i am ingesting into my database so let me go to my notepad and here i have a url let me copy this url of the blob so in real time right you can even take your own data actually so this url information i have to provide under source so let me hit next source here. So it's a blob file. So let it be blob. And here I can provide the URL of that blob. 
or you can connect to for example if you have some file in some data lake storage or something you can hit this add source and add the configurations for that storage and then select the file and all okay so we are not going all the details in our upcoming video we will do that so for now i want to take this blob file data and ingest into this destination if i go to previous in this database with this name of table i want to create one table okay so now let me hit next here see the moment i select that that it clearly shows me let me minimize this here it clearly shows uh, all the information right so the mapping information you can see what columns we have start time end time episode event id where that event occurred whether it is a it's in a north california and what kind of event it is right winter storm and everything right so all that information is there all the storms related information is available okay so this entire table data is getting previewed here for your better understanding and once you hit this start ingestion button it will start ingest the data so let me hit that ingest button so now you can see here it is ingesting my data and it prepared for the ingestion and the second step will be the actual ingestion of the data so it should create a table called strom events and in that table it should ingest all the data from that csv blob whatever i have shown you there you can see here uh, now it is performing a data preview as well and you can see from this blob it took the data and status is successful so it is successfully able to ingest now under data preview you can see it is previewing the data as well so that's it let's hit this close button and now if i navigate to query here and then if i go to this uh, demo databases and if i run show tables command here it should show my table see here strom events table is there so now what i want to do from that strom events table maybe i want to take 10 rows okay so now i entered my command so you can see the selected area is in light blue color that means if i hit this run button it will execute only this command so let me hit this run so now it is giving me top 10 rows from that table okay for some reason what i want is i want to you sort this sort to by maybe start time in descending order and then take top 10 rows so let me execute this now see now it is giving me top 10 rows from the latest date right so we have data from 2007 year actually so here whatever the query i written here right this is called kushto language query so it is like a simple it's like a sql only actually so the syntax will be different we use this pipe symbol syntaxes so this is like a selecting a table take 10 means like a top 10 rows something like that and sort to by is something like a order by so i will create one playlist for the kushto language as well separately so that you will get more sense of it but at this moment i hope you got this query right so so that means we are able to successfully ingest data from a blob file by selecting this into a adx cluster database as a table and also we are able to query that information as well very easily so make sure you also do the same steps so that you have this data ready and you can use that for your practice purpose let's go to presentation so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much